Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to Old World Blues, in which we're playing as a beautiful, broken coast under Ragnar. So last time, we actually got Mores, or Mores, from the Heide Confederation. We're doing a border war with the Heide Confederation, and we're actually at war with the Xi, of all people. It's a very weird world we live in, where the Chinese are attacking Vikings, but regardless, especially in British Columbia. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day. We've got a couple comments to get through. First of all, I didn't realize this, but I said yesterday that... Um, like during these border wars, divisions don't reinforce. They do. Now, right now, it's been like 29 days since we left the last video, last episode, or last video. Just because I wanted to get through the focus a little bit faster. Nothing else has happened. But these units have been continually reinforcing. So we have three right now. And if you see it, these three will probably jump back in, hopefully, again. Oh, there we go. We have four now. Four instead of two. So, I was completely wrong, and that's okay. We're running out of manpower, we are mobilizing a little bit more, but we've got to address another comment. But right now, we just got two more civilian factories, and 450 more manpower in Earl's Cove. So I asked you guys yesterday, whether or not we should be raiding and then returning to the Terror to break Whistler, or we should do a Silver Tongue Diplomacy. My army is your army, as well as my land is your land. Or your land is my land. Your land is definitely my land. So, here's the deal. There's support for both sides, and I want to do both. But I do know that I'm playing Broken Coast again someday, playing as Graven the Cruel. And because of that, I think for a Viking, it probably would be best for us to go with raiding Alvin Bleak. Just because we're, we're Vikings. We have to raid. So when I play as Grave and the Cruel, I should do Silver Tongue Diplomacy. Because even though we might be cruel under Graven, it doesn't mean we're not smart. So, we will raid Alvin Bleak. But, ooh, Camlo... Yeah, we could do Whistler right now. Someone said it's not a good idea to attack them since that'd be a waste of manpower. But even then, they've up to five divisions. We have nine divisions ready to go. So, I'm thinking it'd probably be okay to begin raiding them. So let us go ahead and do this focus. Whistler is a nation of refugees, all of whom fled the rise of Camlo. With their former homes lost to them and their spirits near broken, the people of Whistler are hanging on by a thread. We will burn Alvin Bleak to the ground and dye the snow red with the blood of their warriors. Whistle, Whistler will remember the Terror of Invaders, and realize too late that running towards us was worse than staying with Camlo. Oh, I can't wait. And right now, with this such little manpower, uh, I'm thinking, ooh, we can esca escalate the border conflict. We could try that, no, ooh, 150 days, counts as a border war between us. We'll see what happens. Um, that's a lot of political power. I do want to get more manpower, though, because even though we're mobilizing, this is still not enough for us. So I'm considering raising my manpower level up to raider bands, but if I don't forget, we can do that right here, to get to Scum and Villainy. Well, City... Oh! We, we just bypass Raider Bands completely, and go straight up here, which actually hurts our supply, which is not ideal, but how much is this guy learning? Quentin Numbers, you're a mountaineer. Uh, well, he'll be doing this for a while, so we don't actually have to look at that. So, 100 political power, not bad. I think the next one, for the next focus we'll do, is just raise our conscription level. How much infantry equipment do we have? None! Okay, let's buy some. That'll be good to do. And over here, anything else? Slave Flogger? I like that. More resources. Output. So nice. Uh, anything for about manpower? Non-core manpower plus 6% would not be bad. This is not good for us. Uh, I don't mind doing that one. Currently, we have Stubborn Bastardino. Bastardino. Oh, I keep saying that wrong. Always. Just if I roll those would be good. I'm going to go ahead and do something with Parks Weber to get more daily army XP gain and land doctrine research time. Just because we want to get through our land doctrine as fast as possible. It's always good, good to get through that. And in about 10, 15 days, we'll stop uh, training some of our divisions. To make sure that they're nice and fit to fight. Goodness gracious. They must be out of manpower or something. Because uh, they're not looking so good. I mean, our guys aren't looking great either. But uh, they're probably not looking too good for themselves right now. Come on, guys. You're doing well. Come on, Quentin Numbers. 6% of the air for doing mountaineering stuff. It's one heck of a terrible war over here. Holy cow. Oof! So only three research slots, which is quite unfortunate. We are raiding right now, even though we're just basically trying to make sure that we don't get killed by anyone, or by the Chinese, who might want to enable invaders. I doubt they can actually come to us, but you never know. You never know. Point zero, point 0.8 a day. Occupied territories. We're on waste on pacification because of this area. Ooh, no resistance over here. I'd like to core this, but if 122, it might be a bit much for now. We do get to core stuff eventually, but... Mm -hmm. We do get slight about manpower, and yes, that was a comment from yesterday. There is a whale in the game, at least one. There's, oh, there was a whale right here. Look at that thing. Beautiful. Well, somewhat beautiful. It looks like a big old, like a small snake in the water. But anyways, raiding, raiding Alvin Bleak. 
Alvin Bleak slumbered softly in the night as a snowstorm whipped itself up into a frenzy, the sounds of wind drowning out the disorganized scramble of raiders encroaching into the settlement. The peace was broken by the sound of smashing glass, the unmistakable roar and crackle of flames, and the screamings the screams of women and children as they woke to the blinding light of an inferno. Those who managed to resist were cut down and dead of night. The children watching from the shadows with tears in their eyes. It would have been a mercy to kill the survivors after the flames died down, but pirates don't deal in mercy. Pirates deal in plunder and loot, and it was no surprise that the only things that left Alvin Bleak intact were valuables that would fetch a high price. We get 200 more guns! <laughs> Great! That doesn't help us that much, but hey, I'll take guns. But let's do Raiders of the Coast. That sounds like a movie title. Our elite warriors are known as Raiders of the Coast. These are our best warriors. We must train more. Which we get better justify war goals time, better reinforce rate. We use more supply, which I don't like, and we lose stability and division organization. We get more division speed and, what was it, 4% more, basically, population. Or, you know, manpower. Uh, it's definitely a trade. Keep going, Quentin Numbers. You're doing a great job. Killing off our own manpower, but really putting the hurt on the Heidi Confederation. Woof! I'm really considering just going to war with them and finishing this. I'm really considering it right now. Because if that happens, we can just navally invade Gramshar probably. Play working cool. Very, very nice. 2276. We are only tribal, so we can't get too far in terms of researching stuff for now, but eventually we can become civilized, which will be a great, great thing. Please tell me you're at least 7%. No, you're not. That's disappointing. Hmm. Currently losing. Yeah. If you win 50 political power, if we lose, we lose 150 political power. Wow. Oh, that is not good. If we win, we get 10 more army XP. Oh, no, they get 10 more army XP. Oh, that's not good. Raiders of the Coast, great. We got more manpower. At this point, educated pirates? Ooh. Educated pirates. We did the frozen cabal. We need to do blessed steel and masters of the waves. Masters of the waves and probably chairs of the sea. Uh, masters of the waves. Blessed steel. Wait, where's blessed steel? Blessed steel. Where are you? Ah, oh, right here. Wow, that's pretty far down there. And then after those two, Masters of... Oh, Masters of the Waves plus Steel. And then complete a focus, Graven's Grand Palace or establish Port Royal. Oh, we'll do this one next, I suppose, if we really wanted to. Oh, we get more political power. Sure, why not? Port Royal is once a hub of pirate activity. If the old history books are to be believed... Ragnar desires more for our nation than a lifestyle of raiding to survive. Rather, he envisions a future in which our fleets travel far and wide, not just for plunder, but for conquest too. Creating a mighty port is the first step in achieving this goal. Yes, please. Return of the chair, which we'll do. Breaking the conquerors. Ooh. That is not bad. Basic tools. That'd be nice. We need Whistler and Camlo, and we can core all those states. Now, I'm not sure if we could eventually core Morris. Moors. So, I might just core it anyways. Yeah, we get Dawn of a New Age, 25% chance lower. So, ooh, I might just core this area down here just because we can. So, we might as well. Uh, it just, it's not that much political power. Multi-purpose equipment, sure, why not? Another division, great, great, great. Brute the Brute. When you have your name as your nickname. That is, well, unique. Oh, we're out of manpower, god dang it. I guess coring this is, it's not a great thing to do, but we can, we, we might as well. At this point, I don't want to deal with it anymore. Resistance, it doesn't give us that much. You might get you might get a factory, maybe. You got 600 manpower from that. That's not bad. This is actually better than I thought we, what we would get. But hey, I'll take it. Wow. These guys are looking not good. They must be out of manpower now. What the heck? Insulation? 37 divisions. Oh, they got 35 guys left over. Okay. Hey, military factory? No, why not? Uh, We're going to make a few more of these things. Ooh, if we need to train more. There we go. Uh... Is this literally all we... Oh, my goodness. We need to make some gliders and stuff. Dynamite. Actually, that's probably more, more important. Put you up top. There you go. <laughs> we're making a lot of convoys. We need to get some uh, capital ships, too. Hey, we're actually... Hey, are we actually winning? Well, all you have to do is just really hurt the Heidi Confederation as much as possible, and you do okay. So after this, then we're going to go ahead and do raiding Whistler, because we don't want them to get too strong too quickly. Next up, uh, resource efficiency gain. Why not resource production? We might as well. How much are we missing? A lot of scrap metal. Oh, okay. Well, now we're losing again. Forging is nice. It doesn't help us that much, though. But let us go ahead and grab some imp improvised obstructions. More max entrenchment and more soft attack. I love the soft attack. It's so soft. 
Cool. I guess next I'm going to go and read Return of the Terror. Wizards' forests are filled with frozen corpses, left preserved by the frost. Their faces covered or forever twisted in agony and horror as it clasps wounds long since frozen over. What little remain of Wizards' spirit has been stomped out by us, and now the lands are ripe for the taking. Huh. Wizards' remaining population will be thankful for their arrival, even if they themselves don't realize it yet. Good. Return of the Terror. Now we have 11 divisions ready to go, and these guys are all... 20 combat width, even though we want to put some dynamite on these guys. We back... Oh, no! We back down! We've tactfully decided to pull our raiders out of enemy territory to conserve manpower and equipment. What? No! Just keep going! Keep going! We've gained valuable experience in combat through the counter, but so the enemy in town will come back and raise their villages to the ground. A strategic move? Oh, that was god-awful. Hold on. I'm going back and doing this right now. No way. No, they're out of manpower. We Okay, they have three to five guys left. Wow, big whoop. We gotta kill them now. And when you get some anti tank, I just I noticed that the dredgers have some robots, which is not good. Which is actually kind of it's not overpowered, but in early game, if you don't have anti tank, you're you're really screwed. So I'm doing that again. I'm not I'm not gonna wait. No 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 never. Let's go do that. That'd be good. Hmm. Eh, might as well. I want as much stability as possible for now. The turn of the terror. Good. And you guys looking pretty good right now. Quentin, did you learn anything 7%? That is not ideal from what you just did. There's two divisions there. Please don't be raising your conscription level. Uh, there's still 0%, zero, zero manpower, so that's good. Oh, never mind. I should not have done it. Should not have done it. I'm gonna... I'm just, God, you know what? Screw it. I'm, I want to go to war with them so badly. Plant cultivation. Such a bad idea. Flexible designs. Uh, I guess we might as well. Why not? Uh, local opposition. Oh, right. Oh, God. Turn a border raid into a current conflict. Um... If that's selected, cannot see new incidents against them. I don't need these divisions anyway, just do it anyways. That actually that's actually really, really look at all the army XP we're getting for this. I mean yeah, we get 0 0.05 a day for the army XP, but holy crap, that is that is nice. It's a little bit of a drain on our manpower, but you know, so be it what isn't, you know, what isn't. It's a really bad idea for me to do that, but I don't really care at this point. I just want to kill it. What's their resource production? Dedicated scrap. We could do that type of stuff. Let's grab some gliders. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, another division. Don't mind if we do. How many divisions are we making? Only two. Actually, did I throw one that I've not yet? Oh, this will definitely help out. There you go. And cut it down by one more just because we need a little bit more manpower. We don't have that much right now. Cool. And we're almost done. Return of the Terror. Great. Trampling through the snowy forest of Whistler on a clear and crisp morning. Our men search for more soldiers to kill. Soon after our raid into Alvin Bleak, Whistler organized a meager army to launch a counterattack, and our forces met in a forested area along our border. This is the forest we have patrolled for the last few mornings, a forest carpeted by dead, frozen bodies preserved in the final moments of agony. It will take a long, long time for these tortured faces to vanish. Whistler is on the verge of collapse, and soon we will send them our demands. Become part of our nation, or we'll kill what's left of you. Be foolish. They'd be foolish to, re to refuse. Okay, then! We have them! Cool, okay. And we, yeah, we got them, which is great. Uh, Camelot raiding parties, we must do them next. Camelot is little more than a coalition of raider gangs flying the same flag. Their leader is more than an unusually smart raider. Chem pushers and slavers thrive in Camelot's borders, so we'll hit them where it hurts. Their previous jet and medic stockpiles will go up in flames, and their slaves will be slaughtered. Camelot will begin to collapse under the weight of its own addictions. Oh, boy. Honestly, I don't mind maybe coring some of this territory, because... It's not going to be very good for us. Wowzers, it's not going to be good. Let's see, we got some borders here. Three. There we go. And then one, two, three. Anywhere else we need to put these? There's only... Ah, oh, there it is. I wonder if there's more areas that we had to do like that. It's going to hurt our manpower so much. We really need to get... Ooh, a Royal Admirer Look Tribe. More infantry armor. And doggos. Yeah, let's definitely make some of this for right now. Actually, go to four for now. Uh, let's see. Riders, or really, they're just enforcers. Uh, we need two. I'm going to put riders and enforcers right there. We have enough for that much, at least. 30. It's still going to go down a little bit more. That's fine. Um, um, border conflict is over. Oh, well. I'm not even going to read this one. I think we had this yesterday. We'll avoid launching raids against these settlements for some time. We'll lure them into a false sense of security. And then we'll strike them when the time is right. Soon, lad, soon. And that actually hurts us quite badly. That's my fault. And I can't even do that now. God dang it. Well, that's my fault for trying to be very, very aggressive. Completely my fault. 
Uh, anything else this guy needs? Gunslinger? Probably go with Commando, honestly. Uh, actually, the way we're going... With our Land Doctrine... We're not gonna go... Uh, actually, Ancient Tactics does make sense if we're playing as Vikings. That actually does make sense, but... This is more like Roman or Legion Tactics. Uh... Infantry, combat with minus 0.2. I'm, I'm tempted to go down this path. Special forces. Technically, we already are special forces. I think we'll just go wasteland tactics, because that, that makes a little bit more sense. And we do get plus one to four leg infantry, so... <sighs> hmm. That's okay. And let's come over here. We have plenty of divisions for now. I'm going to go ahead and grab some anti-tank, just in case, because we're going to need it against these guys up here in the Dreadroot territory. And you know what? We're already out of our deficit of political power. Beautiful. 1.43 a day. Not bad. Alright. Let's see. Oh, goodness. We're out of infantry equipment as well as infantry armor. Time to buy some more. Oh, dear. How's this looking now? Slowly going up. As long as we get more compliance, that's all that really matters. Uh, let's see what we're going to do. Raiding Camlo. Send a, f send a few raiding parties, parties into Camlo to burn and loot their stores houses. We'll use whatever they have against us. Oh, we get more units. We just win automatically, which is kind of nice. Kind of overpowered, but kind of nice. Knight of Horror. Raiders only respect one thing, strength. We know this as a broken coast as much a raider nation as Camlo. Camlo has already begun to retaliate against our raids, so it's time to show them how real raiders act. A campaign of carnage shall spread throughout Camlo tonight. Drugged up raiding parties will tear the throats out of raiders with their bare teeth, scalping slaves for fun as the screaming fills the air. That actually sounds a little terrifying if you're on the receiving end. Just saying. But luckily, hopefully, we won't be. I do want to raid other people, though. Probably building. Eh, well, anyone that's really weak. Uh, it was recommended that I just actually leave one of those guys alive, or, like, leave one tile alive for one of these northern uh, areas, just so that uh, we can always raid them constantly. Which sounds like fun, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Improvise obstructions. We'll go with West End Tactics, because as much as I would love to go Ancient Tactics, I don't think Ancient Tactics really means Viking Tactics. Even though they're technically not ancient, really, I suppose. At this point, they kind of are, but... Uh, I think we'll just go with West End Tactics. So, that'd be very good for, for more recovery rate. Raid all the time, that's what it tells me. Raid all the time. Get a good amount of Naval XP. Offense... Offense Council, good. Oh, wait, we're mobilizing more now. Good. Society of Raiders, Native Settler Heritage, Prospect of Slavers, or Prospect of Slaves, Offense Council, and Scum and Villainy. It's not bad. Even though we still need more. Oof. Slowly going up. Point eight. Uh, I think the next thing we'll grab is definitely Outsider Battalions. Outsider Volunteers aren't bad. Uh, Vikings. Vikings like Outsider Auxiliaries. If they want to raid, they can raid with us as long as we get the loot. Most of it, at least. Please give me more stuff, please. Hmm... Yeah. Just have to wait. I, just, I want more compliance. I just want more, more, more compliance. Hopefully this gives us more uh, guns, too. That'd be kind of nice. Building sabotage. I know. Whatever. I wonder, they, I wonder if they'll submit to us. How, how strong is Camlo? The gas mask guy. Ranger Kenneth. Good amount of manpower. Much better than us. They have about an equal, if not less, amount of divisions than us. So not too bad. Not too bad. 22 days left. Or 18 days left. That's not bad. Uh, oh, 1.44. Let's go ahead and prepare for this and get to Outsider Auxiliaries. So we get, actually, was it 5% more non-core manpower? We get more resistance target, a little bit less stability, a little bit less planning speed, but daily, more daily compliance, which is something that we actually could really, really use right now. Oh, 28. 30% is not bad. Look at that. 0. 0.4. 0. 0.7. Point, okay, 100%. Nice. That's actually pretty good. This is still slowly going up. That's fine. Oh, nice to... Oh, Campaign nights, whatever it is. Campaigns of terror. Sending men into the night to burn villages and leave the heads of the villagers outside for all to see. That is the way of the coast. They will never sleep again. Wow, minus 20% stability. Holy crud. And breaking Camlo. Without their precious cams, the remaining raiders of Camlo cannot keep their paranoia at bay any longer. Instability fed by the night of our pure brutality is still fresh in their minds. As Camlo begins to collapse under the weight of its own and degenerate population, we will strike crushing this, the suffering and insane hordes of the raiders, putting them all to the sword rather than letting them suffer any longer. Oh, I well, would we'll just go straight to war with them. Hey, we get profits. Profits from the drug trade. We call them degenerates, but we're still using drugs. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Hey, demo equipment's good. Infantry armor's looking pretty bad. Infantry equipment's not looking great, but we need to just make more. 
I'm gonna grab some healing powder as well. Nice. Nice. Alright, so we need more stuff. What are we building right now? I should probably make some military factories, actually. That'd be probably a pretty good idea. Breaking camo would be nice, though. Hmm. If I could raid against these guys, I probably would. But these guys are probably not too weak, especially over a waterway. So, oh, they actually, they're very similar to us, actually. Looks like they might still be 10 combat width. We actually might be able to break through here, maybe. Maybe. You know what? I'm still going to grab Outsider Battalions, because that gives, gives us 10% more non-core manpower, which will be very, very helpful, actually, and more daily complex, which we need right now. Uh, anything else? If we're going to make this stuff, that's still a little bit ahead of time. Let's get additional planning, so we get more hardness, so basically we need less manpower to help co or put down resistance. We'll need less manpower and equipment to put down resistance, which would be a very good, very, very good thing. It's like we didn't even buy guns. Because look at that, that's so bad. Alright, so they're almost at the, the cap, which is good. And the compliance should be shooting up quite a bit right now. 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0.6, okay, 0 0.8, and then compliance growth 0.257. Not bad, that's actually getting quite good. And it's actually suppressing resistance now. So that's actually getting much better actually for us. Is this rising up any further? Nope, we have less than 800 needed, which is great, even though it's going for 740, 725, 713. So it's actually going down by quite a bit now, which is good. And now we have outsider battalions for even more compliance gain, and we actually got a little more manpower too. Beautiful. Breaking camo, we're going to grab some more military factories right now though. So expanding steel. Now that we have the basic forges up, it's time to commit more slaves to the forge. This will increase our output greatly. It only takes 30 days. And let's not produce or... Let's do that one. And then that one. Uh, we don't need to really repair stuff. You get auto repairing slowly, slightly over time. So we're going to help build the roads for now. We're going to make more military factories normally anyway. So we'll be okay. The north will be very, very roady. Industrialized, I guess we could say. I won't keep making these though. Uh, but we're going to wait and just keep making more roads. Because I don't want to build when the infrastructure is straight trash. NCR Rangers join the NCR. Well, the name was in it already. I kind of want to go to war, but I'm going to wait until we have at least a little bit more manpower first. I think that'd be ideal. That'd be much better because we're already out of infantry equipment. We had no manpower. Starting a war right now would probably be not in our wisest decisions or the smartest thing for us to do. Uh, we can raid Hyde Confederation, but we're not going to do that again right now. My bad. Basic hygiene. Uh, we're not getting any more. Oh, it's because we're at war. That's why we have such slow, low stability, because the she declared war upon us. So why do we have... Well, I guess we do get more war support, because we're in a defensive war. It is what it is, I guess. Let's get some more defense first, though. Hmm, anything else here? Raider recruit... Oh, yeah, let's do that. We got that. I, I forgot about this guy completely. My bad. Expanding steel. The coast treasures. Oh, we could actually probably use that. I'll do that one, the Coast Treasure. Pirates like their buried treasure, our treasure is steel. We need steel to work with the forges. Send slaves to the coast to uncover this valuable treasure. And then we'll probably empower the terror, maybe. We'll see what happens. So. 1.42. Still not bad. Not bad at all. I completely forgot that that guy gives us 5% more population. That's so good. I'm going to go with the Gut Harpoon. I have to, as a... Uh, Viking Nation. It feels like if we don't, if we use guns, that just feels wrong. Maybe until we get like better guns, but even buy more guns now. Actually, we're really good on infantry equipment. Quite good, actually. So that's the case. Do that. And I forgot we need capital ships too. We need capital ships and dogs. Oh my goodness, we got so much that we need. So much. Three four six goes to three four one. Three three five. Troll worn bone dancers. Cool. Coastal treasure, that'll actually help us out with our uh, resources right here, because we're, we're, we need more. Oof. I'm actually going to put you at the bottom then. Which is fine. And then, yeah. I'd love to do this one. I'd love to do that one. More max planning. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. The coast treasure. Very nice. Blessed steel? Why not? Our steel is purely, surely blessed by some higher power. We can build more forges than any known before us. We will destroy all those who stand against us. Very nice. Very, very nice. And actually, does this expire any time? It is not. Ugh, now we get more manpower. Thank goodness. Yeah. Not super easy playing as Brook goes, especially when you don't have cores on these territories, which really kind of does really, really, really suck. 
But whatever, you know, it is what it is. How are our factories looking? Here we go. That's good. That's coming along. Dynamite Wasteland Knowledge is great. More recovery rate? Yes, please. Let's grab some Wasteland Intuition, which is awesome, because you get one more Reconnaissance and better reinforce rate. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. We could buy more guns. Let's save on our infantry equipment for now, though. That'll be good. We could prioritize living standards again. We only have 11 out of 15. Eh, we're kind of okay. At this point, how much lower can we get uh, resistance, first of all? Compliance 71%, they're nice. Woo! And now we've got Blessed Steel, Gliders, Anti-Tank, Train Mongols, awesome. Educated Pirates, Masters of the Waves, I guess we're going to do that one next. Get another dock here, that's not bad. Empowering the Terror, it's only 2% more attack, that's really not much at all. So, Port Tantalus. If we're to be true raiders, then we must expand the docks, starting with Port Tantalus. Absolutely. Come on, let's get out of the deficit. We have one guys here. One guys. 32 guys. Four guys. Come on, we're doing so much better here now. We've got a good amount of support equipment, as especially infantry equipment right now. Let's go ahead and go to war see what happens. I kind of want them to attack us. So if I take all but one, can you like just go right there for now? Oh man. You guys are suffering from supply issues now, aren't you? Can we do the same thing maybe like right here? Oh, you two go right there. No supply issues. And all you two go right there. Oh, yep. They do. They definitely do. And they're going to come back. A song from the front. Broken Coast forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We could play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. War support's nice, but we already have enough. I'm going to go for political power. Oh, also. What are you doing? Oh, none of you guys are doing stuff. Uh, y'all come here then. Come to regular Broken Coast land. With more political power, we could raise our stability up even more if we really, really wanted to. Ooh, resource though. Output. Mm, civilian factory speed. It's not bad. Over here. I mean, we just get better just by war goal sounds, which is okay. It's not great. Uh, I never know what I really want to do here. You know what? We're still suffering, so I'm going to get Mr. Slaving. No, I'm going to get more stability. Stability is too good to pass up. Nice. There goes manpower again. Whatever. Uh, good. Six. Oh, they're not there, down there yet. Cool. That's fine. Port Coover. Our capital city will have a glorious port. One to rival those of any major nation. We are the true terror of the seas. Okay. You guys take full ammo to get in there. Oh, they really brought out their forces down here. That's kind of nice. Oh, now they're doing the same thing over here. Oh, yeah. They have a lot of guys. Oh, you're still only one division holding there. Okay. That makes sense. Now we're gonna do it with. Well, we're not gonna go with that crazy. You guys come right there and hang out, and I'll pull you back when we need to. I mean, we could navally invade, I suppose. Maybe I should have gone to war with the Dredgers first, really, honestly. We'll see what happens. 50% stability, not bad. There you go. I'm gonna bring one back immediately. You know what, just in case. I'll bring you as well, but you're not actually gonna, like, stay there. 75 versus 326. Not bad. Uh, do we have field hospitals we could throw on yet? Maybe? Oh, yeah, we do. Awesome. Uh, is that going to cost us too much? Oh, that's anti tank. Uh, chems. Oh, that's more than fine. Go ahead and do that. Great. That actually helped us out. That really does. Um, same thing with you guys. I'm going to pull one of you guys over here. Because when we attack over the river, it's going to be such a pain in the butt. We really have to basically drain them of the resources first, which is going to suck. That's okay, though. we got time. Uh, let's do Educated Pirates first. Why not? A wise man once said, Give me a lever large enough and I will uproot the sun free. Today this wise man is little more than broken charred bones, but he spoke true when he was flesh and blood. If we want to uproot the waste sand from its pitiful state, and therefore expand the coast, we need a very large lever. Technology. Alright, so now they're taking the bait. I'll throw these guys back in. And they're taking the bait down here as well. So maybe you guys are not looking great. We've killed off 553, getting us more army XP, and I really need planes. Hmm. Oh, that's looking really... That's good now. I'm going to lower by one more. For now, we can make some doggos. We're going to get a lot more planes that will really, really help us out. Now, this is what I like to see. We even have this backup spare army here, which is good. 
as well. Military training. Hey, more defense. Great. This is a little bit ahead of time. I don't want to do that. Don't really do that, even, that one either for right now. Flamers. Uh, hmm. We can eventually get grenade ruffles or incinerators. I don't know. I'm thinking we're going to go with flamers for this campaign. Just because it makes sense because we were burning things as we raid. We're not blowing things up as much as we're just, just straight up burning parts of villages. So in my mind, that just makes more sense. And Brute the Brute, you are learning quite a bit. He's level 4 already. Gut Harpoon makes us even stronger. Yes, please. Uh, robotics, planes, ship stuff, industry. Um, engineering, yeah, I should have done more research speed and resistor stuff earlier. That's my bad. Nice. Oh, we're still out of scrap metal, too. That's not good. Military factory-wise, let's go ahead and build another one up. Let's see. 10%. Another song from the front. I'm still going to grab more political power because political power is great. Educated pirates. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Build it right there. And we shall do Port Seshet. Our efforts will, to build a grand fleet will continue in the city of Seshet. These will be the sites of the future. Another the dockyard, and the town gets more manpower. A beautiful thing. A truly beautiful thing. Let's see, anything else down here? Not really, no. We're doing really well with our stuff so far. But we need to do stuff right here. Actually, just go and get uh, this one, because we we're going to be building up more military factories, civilian factories, stuff like that all the time. So, 58% stability, not bad. Oh, uh oh. Hey, are you losing down here? Well, that's not good. There you go. You know what? No, I'm not going to risk it. You guys are still going to stay down here. Just in case. Because over everywhere else, we seem to be doing okay-ish. We've lost about 181 versus 1,000. So that's not too bad. 1,400, really. I mean, even though they're down here, they're still learning a lot. So... And this guy is definitely, is definitely learning a lot. Is there any other upgrades? Oh, we can get rooted. Oh, more max entrenchment. We might as well use that right now, then. Cool. Let's see, more political power. Goodness gracious. Um, you know, I will begin coring some of this area, even though we don't really need to. I mean, we might as well. Port Seshit and Masters of the Wastes, or the Waves. For decades, we have ruled the waves around the Broken Coast. Now it is time for us to go even farther. Nice. Even, plus 50% retreat speed, not bad. Not bad. More range. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. Anything else up here? Not really. I mean, I could naval invade. How strong are these guys now? New Reno to clear one of the Antelope tribes. They still have quite a few divisions. They have about a thousand manpower still. Hmm. We need to increase our deadliness. Ruby Valley Refuge. Putting on saws would not be bad, but do we, have, do we really have the industry for it? I'm not sure if we really do or not. Going to go down to three then. I want more planes. I mean, they're, they're okay. They're not great. But it'll work for now. You guys, I'll put you right there. Even though we could use more divisions here, it's fine. Oh, we got paid a little bit more, 200 caps, not bad. We could send out manual prospectors, but nah, we good. Major businesses, in infrastructure, I would love to build up infrastructure some more. Medical stuff, power armor energy, um, anti-air, I'm thinking infrastructure maybe. Because we will build that up more eventually, too, so. Might as well. And let us do Educated Pirates! After much study, we finally have the lever to uproot the North, perhaps even the entire wasteland. For much of our history, the powder monkeys were mocked for the way they developed and relied on technology, but now we understand the error of our ways. Technology is the future, and it will let us achieve whatever we set out or set our minds on. We lose for 300 days political power and stability, but we get 10% more research speed. We become civilized and get two research slots. Ah, don't ever tell me Vikings are uneducated. They clearly can become smart people. Anywhere else we are getting smacked down. Not really. We've already killed off 2,000 enemies. 2,600 to be more exact. While suffering less than 300 casualties ourselves. we got some flamethrowers. We're going to grab some more refined mixtures because that's actually really good to do. So we lose even less guys. Even though we could probably resource or extract more resources from the earth. At this point, I am tempted to pull you down here. Very tempted, actually. Because as soon as I try to attack, it's not going to go that well over the river. I'll be honest. Actually, what we could do... Is that its own... Oh, we could... Oh, you know what? I've been wasting time here all along. Well, not really wasting time. I mean, we've had... It pur this was all purposeful things we had to do. We're just going to go right there. We're going to literally just navally invade behind them and just take them out. There you go. That's all we had to do the entire time. Beautiful. In just case, I'm going to land the entire arm here so we can just really hammer them home. All right, and let us go ahead and do the gang. But unfortunately, I will be right back real quick. 
My apologies about that, but I had to use the restroom real quick. But anyways, we are just set ourselves up to navally invade. And we already have our navy out, actually. Uh, does Camelot have a good navy? Do they have a navy at all? Hopefully they don't. They have 7 to 16 destroyers. Uh, hmm. If that's the case, I'm going to combine you guys back together. Let's do that. Everyone repair. Resistors, great. Get some reinforced freight. That'd be great. As well. Everyone repair. Repair, repair, repair. But luckily, we have light cruisers, which should do a better job than anything else. Go ahead and repair for now. I'm not even sure what you're getting hit by. How much experience do you have? Zero. Okay, well, whatever. Um, if that's a case, yeah, we probably will actually have to cut these guys down in half again. Oh, that sucks. But hey, we got light cruisers on both sides, so that's actually that's what matters. There you go. Get in there too. See what you can find out. Do that as well. He's one of the grabber territory. We're ready to go whenever we can. Let's go ahead and kill these guys off. We're actually navally invading. Wow. All right, so we can get rid of this area too. Goodbye, and throw you guys right there. Immediately begin attacking. Do not let them move. Half you guys. Uh, actually, take one guy. Just go right there. Take you. Go straight all the way across so that way they can't get any supplies. I'll take you, and you go straight for Camelot. Come on, guys. Land, 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 land. Why do, you, why do you take longer than the other group? There you go. Beautiful. I'm glad we were able to get there before anything else happened, so. That's very good. Good. Are they moving around? Oh, they're moving their divisions around. Great. Get rid of that. Get ready to attack. Well, we really drain them of their resources, hopefully. You both just go right there immediately. Force the attack right there, right now. Can't quite win there. That's okay. Eh, we're kind of winning, actually. Go and help them out if you can. These eight divisions are going to die, 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 die. Come on. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Go, go, go. Hey, we made it across. Just don't all of you go at the same time. Alright. Brute the Brute. Expert Hills Fighter, finally. Good. Does Ragnar have anything? No. Yeah, but he's level 5, though, for Brute the Brute. Brute the Brute. Pretty good. And we came over here, too. Great. We took the capital. Macabride will be ours soon enough. We have 200 political power. Wow. Refined mixtures are very nice. Let's grab some better doggos. Yeah, we're going to need more infantry armor. Oof. Actually, we're not making any more doggos. Oh, no. We need more doggos. Why do you hurt my doggos? Hmm. Slave flogger. Might as well at this point, right? Is there any place we had a core? Not really yet. Oh, we're about to get educated. We're about to get an education. You guys go straight for McBride. Oh, wow. It's already 2278. Just realized that. Wow. Wow. And you guys have actually linked up. That is awesome. Go ahead and terminate with extreme prejudice right now. Awesome. Hmm. Anything else around here? Not really. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Waste on survivalism training. That would be great. Another division. Awesome. Having two armies is great. We took the second capital. Crush these guys. Do they? Are they still out of manpower? Or, or do they? Or, did they run out of manpower? Yeah, they did. Great, awesome. Jasmine. We'll get in there before these guys die. Oh. Come on, take it, take it. The third capital will fall. Okay, never mind. They just completely left it by the wayside. Okay, typical. Yeah, they, they can't do anything now. This is awesome. Educated pirates, hey! We have an education somewhat. We became civilized too. Oh, that makes me feel so good on the inside. Empowering term. Adding spikes to our power armor will make our enemies run away like little girls. Our armor will be the envy of the world. No one will stop us. Wait. We're not using power armor, though. What? What? Is this special Vikings or... What? Public projects. Very good stuff. Civilized... Warriors, I'd say. 
quite civilized. Come on, get to judgment. We want to wrap this war up as fast as possible. Thank goodness. We've already taken three capitals. How many more capitals do we have to take? Apparently four. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dearie me. Just go. Just kill them off, please. Just go to clear water. This is a little bit, wee bit ridiculous. There you go. Because we killed off 5,000. God dang. Please, 100% of the way there. Great. Cool. That took way too long. Alright, so what's next for us? Actually, this is kind of nice. We have two armies. We can go here. We can go there. I'll start with the dredgers, though, because they're looking kind of thick. Uh, they do have a few minor bots. That's not bad. A stirring of the north. After our recent victories over our enemies, our informants have discovered that this time, other nations seem to have noticed. Recently, a gathering of most of the other factions in the north's leadership was called upon, and from what we have gathered, the topic is mutual defensive actions, yet for some reason we were not invited. The details of the deal will be hammered out in the next two weeks. For now, I can't even... That's so... I can't even read that. It looks like the Bellingham Union, the Dredgers, and Heide Confederation, and one others, signed the Unbroken Resistance Pact. This will do nothing to save them. Oh, no. Where are they? Hmm. Okay. Oh, we get to core them immediately after this. So that's good. Um, seems like we're going to be extremely violent towards these violent people. So be it. Raid the dredgers? I'd love to, but we're not going to do that yet. How many planes do we have? 32? That's not bad. Use more military factors right now, though. Let's go ahead and grab some more decryption. No, vacuum tubes for even more research speed because now we have five research slots. Cultural people, it's fine. We're losing some more political power. Let's look at 1.17 a day. A little less ability. Oh, the pact. More Brahmin to the slaughter. It appears that the previously discovered meetings have borne fruit. A new pact between nations of the north, the, the Unbroken Resistance Pact, attempts to limit our expansion into neighbors. From what we can gather, this is not a formal alliance, but rather a loose defensive network. They can then quickly mobilize and attempt to reinforce our opponents with volunteers via the Columbia River. We can still utilize our naval prowess to invade those outside the pact, however. Keep in mind that these distant lands are not our ultimate goal and can only serve as colonies. Did they actually create a faction against us? They have the Northern League, of course, but that's not that's pretty normal. They just have a non-aggression pact. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll see what that does for you. Can I get more stability than this, please? New Arena joined the NCR. Cool. 41% might be the max we can get right now. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Empowering terror. Awesome. But let's get some cores. Breaking in the Conquered. With the leaders and loved ones left dead in the snow, the citizens of Camel and Whistler have nothing left but to despair. Weak as they are, the truly broken are like putty. They can be molded into any shape you desire. We will take these scraps left in our wake and convert them into a new tapestry of blood and conquest. Good. Free cores, man. Well, it's not really free. We, we fought in blood for them, so it's not free at all. But we're doing pretty well with them. I just want more doggos. That's all. Okay, one and a half. That's pretty. That's weird. Think about it. one and a half doggos a week. We are breeding dogs that quickly. Wow. And only one and a half of the puppies come out every week. But the gang's all here, my friends. The gang's all here. Annual animal observations. Plus five percent army breakthrough. Beautiful. Eighteen combat width. We must throw another one on then. Right. Even slightly more breakthrough. It will cost us more manpower, but that's okay since well we're about to get a lot more cores and we don't have to do all this resist all this resistance stuff. Good, good. Come on. You know what? I think we have enough. Let's do that. There you go. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. We have 900 some. We need more infantry equipment now. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Let's do supply line too. That'd be great. And we'll do one more focus before we call it an episode. Oh, I guess we probably stop doing that and go home and repair. Actually, you probably don't have to do this stuff anymore for right now. No way about having a bad time. Scope of the campaign. That's a question I would usually ask in every campaign. Obviously, we want to unite as much of the north as possible. Let's grab some de decode signals first. Uh, I would say we got to get a reform, reform British Columbia and maybe take out the Washington Brotherhood and her allies and the old country. That's probably the good scope of the campaign. Maybe we'll go to war with the NCR, but eh, I think that's a pretty good goal to achieve. At least in my mind. By territories, compliance 100% in Whistler. Great Camlo. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there. Actually, how much? 1,000 pieces? Yeah, that's fine. At this point, go ahead and switch these all over. Oh, uh, maybe not. 27.5. That's quite a bit. Yeah, that's quite a bit. We don't have the resources for that just yet. 
I mean, we could do this for a few of these places, but so there's a little bit more manpower. Ah, breaking in the conquered. Beautiful. Drums of war. A bonus for land auction and go to war with the Heidi Confederation. Put to the sword. Unlocks a chain of decisions to raid, invade, and go to war with New Victoria. Enemy in the north. Uh, I like the drums of war. I like that one. And we got to kill everyone else so we can get a permanent 25% reduction in quarrying costs. Uh, let's do drums of war first, because we get a bonus to the land auction. The north is a great expanse of territory, ruled by very few due to its harsh climate and remote locations. Those farther south often mistake the north for a weak place, filled with backwatered savages. This is their greatest mistake. The drums of war beat out a savage and primal anthem of bloodshed, encouraging our men to push on wars to the south, where the most lucrative of conquests await us. But unfortunately, that is all the time for that we have today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we shall fight the Dredgers, New Victoria, maybe even the Bellingham Union, as well as the Heidi Confederation, as we be hopefully will become British Columbia in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.